Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Beast Megatron. This decal set includes three decal sheets, one on foil and two on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Megatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Yes. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Megatron looks great. Tons of sculpted details and quite a few different paint applications. Taking a closer look at the figure, here on the head, he has a green Predacon logo right in the middle of the forehead, dark red eyes, purple face, silver right here for the chest spikes, dark gray for the center of the chest, and he does have silver chest vents. For the ab area, he does have dark gray, Moving on down to the legs, we got silver discs right here for the thighs and dark purple right there and dark purple for the hip cannons. Moving on down, more great sculpted details. I love the feel of the dino skin. I know a lot of people didn't really like that rubber stuff over the plastic, but I think it's awesome. Got the white toenails right there that are actually white plastic that go underneath the feet. I mean, lots and lots of great details on this figure. You got the white paint right there for the teeth on the dinosaur head and red for the eyes. All in all, a fantastic looking robot mode. And I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So there you go, guys. Beast Megatron in robot mode before and after. Megatron gets quite a few new decals to help accent his robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head. He gets brand new red reflective eye decals. I love how those catch the light. That is so cool. He also gets new decals up here on the shoulders and a lot of new decals for the chest area. And I really like how that looks. They're black decals with a silver outline and they just really make the chest pop. They're all up here on the chest and the ab area. He also gets a new blue decal right there in the center. New decals here on the sides. I can get his dino, dino head out of the way to extend the black here on the abs to go around more toward the back. There are different decals for both sides. Now the ones on this side are kind of smaller to make room for this section, so be aware of which decals you're putting on. He also gets a new belt buckle and you do have options. I picked one that kind of looks like a diamond. Here are the other two. One's more purple, one's more pink. So he got different looks right there. You also have options for decals here on the sides. I chose kind of a shiny pink. You also have a shiny blue, but I just, my opinion, I like how the pink looks. On the thighs, whoops, lost my tip. On the thighs, he gets new silver decals for the legs and blue decals right there in those little circle areas. And I love how that looks. That really makes the legs pop. Moving on down to the lower legs, you do get decals. Where are they? Right there that cover those pins. I didn't get that one centered too good, but there we go. So you got these purple decals that cover the pinholes right there so you don't have those chrome pins shining through here on the claw arm you get decals right there on the back side and decals right there near the front the arm section gets black decals right there and a silver decal up top near the elbow 
there's also a decal right there that also covers up the chrome pin. Now, right here, he gets new decals that cover up the purple section that was right there that blends in with the green here on the tail. And if you flip that around, there's a decal right there that blends in with the tan on the underside. That used to be purple, so now it's more of a color blend. That'll work really well in dinosaur mode. Megatron also gets new decals there for the back of the helmet to make it look like the helmet goes all the way around. I'm not a real big fan of these because I think there's just way too many purple gaps, but it's an option if that's what you want to do. Over here on the dinosaur arm, there is a, another one of those silver chrome highlight decals. For the eyes, you get pupils. You have options. You have yellow pupils or black. I decided to go with yellow. It just makes you more look more evil. And there's a decal right there that goes into that port. If I can get to focus in, it's a reflective purple. So all in all, I was really surprised with how many decals that Beast Wars Megatron was able to get thanks to Toy Hacks. So there you go. Beast Wars Megatron in robot mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Beast Megatron really impressed me. I already loved this figure as he was, but these Toy Hacks decals really make this figure pop especially the decals for the chest and the thighs. I love how those look. Not a huge fan of the decals for the helmet, but still it's an option if that's what you want to do. Now an optional decal that I failed to show off was these little rubber ducky decals. So you could give him a rubber ducky sticker somewhere if you'd like. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah!